Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. So really quickly here at the top, I just want to remind anybody out there who's interested in this channel putting out videos more often that are commercial free, um, you know, sort of more interesting videos that are you know, do it yourself or kind of stuff, how to build a guitar, how to build a microphone, a preamp, whatever. There's all these kits and stuff online that are interesting, but I'm, you know, it's impossible for me to pay for all of it. So if you're interested in watching that kind of content, please check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash garage band and beyond, and we'll make it cooler. Anyway, what we're here to talk about today is something that garage band is actually missing. Um, you know, there's, it's, it's the baby brother to logic. So of course, some of those more advanced things are missing, but there's easy ways in this case, a very easy way to get it back. So what I'm going to talk about really is fade ins and fade outs. I'm primarily going to be making fade outs for you today, but all the rules apply to fade ins, obviously. So really quickly, let's just look at this image here and you will see what I'm talking about, that there are four types of fade ins and fade outs. Um, this is the one that's most familiar to any of those garage band people because uh, it's just point A to point B. This one is a different one. You know, this one hangs out nice and loud for a while, but then it curves off pretty quickly. Uh, this is the opposite of that. It drops out really quickly, but then the the low volume stays there and hangs out. Uh, and then this one is a mix of both. So it hangs out, drops, hangs out, <laughs> and then fades nothing so i'm going to show you how to make the three bottom ones because point you know point a to point b you should already know how to do that um so anyway let's go over to GarageBand and just get right to it so let's start uh looking at the end of the track here so you know th the two main points that you start with are where does the fade in begin and i'm going to just start on the last hit of this song and we're doing it down here on the master track just for example sake. And so let's, let's listen to this for a second. So I'm gonna, you know, let's listen, find where I think it should end. Probably, yeah, probably actually right around, somewhere around there. Um, okay, so let's drop a point there. So now we have this to this. That's a pretty long fade, in fact. Might be a little too long. Let's bring it back like that. Okay, super easy. So we're gonna just drop in multiple points. So let's do the first one here that we saw. Let's do this big arch on the top here. Really easy. Um, so I'm gonna do it on the grid here. The more points you leave, the smoother the arch. It's super easy to do here. Um, and I'm just gonna sort of shrink this down so it's not such a pain to see it. Uh, let's go all the way here so what you do is you start on the second one here okay and you just pull it down a little tiny bit this one is going to do about the same maybe a little bit less and you're basically just going to pull these down now until you get to the bottom Okay, so that's pretty good. I think we could probably flatten it out up here a little bit. But I mean, I think you get the idea now. You leave, a, you drop a bunch of points and then you move them. That's it. And you can make all sorts of nice curves. This one's kind of long uh, and not that smooth, but you'll hear it. It's not going to be, you know, you'll hear it. Let's listen to this for a second. Actually, there's a jump there, I think. We don't want that. That looks good. Okay, so that's pretty obvious. Uh, like I said, it hangs out <clears throat> and then it just slowly fades away. Um, so this is a more gentle fade out. And let's just, I'm sorry, my computer is a little taxed because um, I'm recording, you know, the audio and the video and everything's being recorded. So, uh, you know, it's a little clicky today, sorry. There, actually, you know what I could do? Let's turn something off. If you're one of those, uh, if you're one of these people like me who use the Slate Digital stuff, it's usually this tape machine. That's a pretty heavy uh, plug-in. Anyway, let's listen to it again. I bet it's gone. It's better. Anyway, okay, so that is uh, number one. Let's look at number two. So this is going to be nice and easy because, I mean, essentially we just pull this guy. Oops, didn't mean to do that. We're just going to pull it down instead. And I'm going to let you guys hear this. I'm going quickly here, you know, so 
uh, bear with me. They're not the prettiest curves I've ever made, but you get the idea. And like I said, the more points you put in, the better of a curve you can make. But it also becomes like a huge nightmare. So I, I say, you know, this, like whatever I have here, seven or eight, um, this is pretty much the most I've ever used, I think. I think that looks pretty good. And, you, you know, if you really want to check the way the curve looks, you bring it up like that, you shrink it down, and you can really see, you know, sort of what's going on. So in here, I would say this guy, these guys need to come to the left a little bit. We're just going to make it a little more dramatic. Maybe even a little bit more. Isn't this a fun video? <laughs> Watching me make the points. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. It's probably a little bit too much down here. All right, let's just listen to this. Okay, so now here's a good point to talk about. So this obviously starts a little bit too early. So I'm just going to, you know, do a big select all here, grab all of those. I'm just going to grab the whole guy and move them all over. And that way, you know, you're not moving one by one. Okay, so that's obviously not the right fade for this song. Well, at least not the start point. Let's try this. Right? Okay, so that is a very radio friendly <laughs> ending right there. And the last one, oh, this is a big fun, this is a sort of a, oops, this is a fun one to make. Um, okay, so, uh, I've, and I've, I have been sort of practicing doing this for you guys, but, you know, just on my own to have my own knowledge on how to do it but yeah super easy so we're gonna have numbers one two three this is gonna sort of hang out drop off a little bit there this is where it's gonna start coming down and, you know you got to think of how many points do you have to work with too you know so don't just sort of move willy-nilly think about it you know <laughs> all right uh that one's too low In this case, I'm going to say I don't need this point here. I'm going to actually, yeah, do that. Bring this guy up a little bit. Move to the left. Bring that guy up. Move to the left. All right, let's look at this shrunken down. More or less, you'll get the idea. Right? Wasn't the prettiest one. Right? So you hear, I mean, and this, again, this isn't the proper fade out for this song. Um, in fact, it was the second to last one, I would say. I would have I would have worked with that a little bit more. Um, but anyway, you guys, that's how you do it. That's, you know, this is just one of those things that GarageBand is missing. But with a little bit of time and patience and a little bit of practice, um, you can figure out how to make really nice curves that just sort of give the the fade ins and fade outs of your songs just something a little bit different than that point a to point b i think you know fade outs are one of those sort of hidden things that i don't think the average listener really appreciates um the time that engineers sit there and listen to a fade over and over and over and just listening for that right fade um there's a real art to it, it takes a really sensitive set of ears um but it's a fun thing it's one of those finer details of the mix uh that is an interesting <laughs> interesting thing to work on and so now you have a way to make some cool curves i hope you enjoy it please check out my patreon page if you have any questions uh you know leave them in the comments below join us over on the facebook page if you haven't already please subscribe and uh, you guys have a great day and i'll talk to you soon peace <laughs>